What's up guys? Steven Bogrand here, Pro Physique, and today what I wanted to talk about is how to deal with some of the stresses of the holidays to help you stay on track with your fitness goals. All right. All right, so what's up guys? <clears throat> I know we sort of took yesterday off from videos and the last video was about how to sort of stay on track with meals and all the heavy calorie dense stuff, right? So today it's gonna to be a little bit more transcendent on the ideas that we want to talk about because the holidays aren't just about food and it's not just about what you eat. It is about so much more and there's always something going on, right? Um, you will hear me say over and over again that you cannot, you cannot, absolutely cannot separate the <clears throat> psychological from the physiological because they're intertwined, right? The mind controls the body. And so, <clears throat> as seen in the stress response, right? We know that when we stress out, blood vessels constrict, you know, our pupils dilate. These things happen, right? Muscles tense. So, we understand very well how an emotion can change how our body feels, right? So, <clears throat> it is important that in such stressful times as the holidays, when there's a million things going on and a million miles an hour, and they all require your attention at once, that we are able to sort of try and moderate those things and pay attention to them. And I think that's all where it starts. It all begins at simply paying attention. It is important that we pay attention to how we're feeling, to the things that are going on within us, so that we can properly assess and deal with them. Now, simply knowing that something's going on isn't going to fix it, it's not going to make it better, it's not going to change it. But, it does give us the ability to address it, right? <clears throat> if there's a problem with your car, all you know is that there's a problem with your car. That's why we have sensors, that's why we have check engine lights. So we can address it, like we can find out what that problem is and then go to address it. Sometimes we need to treat ourselves in that same type of manner. When we start feeling that something's off or we're sad or that depression is in, or anxiety is starting to hit, we need to take a step back and we need to run some diagnostics on ourselves, right? And so the holidays I find is, this is especially true because with so much going on, it is easy to skip this step of life, right? Once we see what's going on, then, then we can address it, right? And we don't always have control over every situation. We can't always try and make a fix on everything. But for the things that we can, that are in our control, those are the ones that we want to take active steps towards getting to a better place, right? So, that is a big deal for the holidays because stress eating is definitely a thing. We take, I take a lot of solace in my sweet potato casserole, right? That shit makes me feel good inside, right? I, a lot of people, it's the turkey or it's the gravy or whatever it might be, like our emotions are connected to food. And so when things are off and we're not at our normal self and we're not at our best, we tend to take solace and we tend to find refuge in that food emotionally. And so if you want to not have to overeat and you don't want to have to do damage control, you don't want to feel bad because for whatever reason something went off, off track or haywire and you feel like you've sabotaged yourself, taking care of those mental things to make sure that you're on your best game, your A game, can be very important for that. And there is one more reason why it's going to be important. And that is because today, today my friends, is the biggest drinking holiday of the year. More people go out and drink the night before Thanksgiving than any other day of the year. Well, let's be real here. Drinking is, especially if you're drinking heavily or drinking a lot, there's a lot of extra calories coming from that, right? So, you can minimize that by things like light beer or vodka waters. Okay, great. But you can also minimize the overage on drinking by making sure that you're in a good place emotionally and mentally 
when you go out with friends. This, and I know this is like sort of off the beaten path of what I'm normally going to talk about. Um, but it is important to recognize that drinking is a very prevalent coping mechanism for a lot of us, okay? And I am by no means uh, free from that, right? There are definitely some days when I've had a bad day and shit's gone wrong and things just aren't going my way and I get home and I'm like, I need a drink, right? Because it's an easy coping mechanism, it's socially acceptable and it's legal, right? So, let's be very real about that. There's nothing wrong with drinking. There is nothing, it's, you know, as long as you are not driving, you're not going to jail. Like, so, but it is not going to help us in our fitness goals to be drinking heavily, right? And we want to be able to work that into whatever it is that our goals entail. And we also don't want to use that as a crutch to take away from other emotional or psychological issues that we might be having in life. Because again, the longer that you ignore those issues, the worse they get. The worse they get, the more prevalent they become in all facets of life. So it's, we don't want to ignore those things. Guys, I am not a psychologist, right? This is not what I do. I am a coach. And so I see a lot of people on a very regular basis. And I am thankful enough that they are honest with me and they are open with me about the things that are going on in their life. And so for a lot of people, I get to be a good friend as well as a coach. And so just like any other friend, what I would tell you is that if you're having those tendencies and those desires to binge drink, make sure that it's not something that's going on inside you that you're only going to allow to further the issue and the problem. But say that you are good. Life is an awesome. Now I'm going to go out with my friends and I'm going to have some friends. And if, you know, we'll Uber home, not a big deal, but we're going to have a good time because it's a holiday. I got to go spend the day with my family tomorrow. So it's going to be the last time I get to see them or the last chance I'll have to do that for a little bit. So let's talk about how we now manage that drinking and still fit everything into our daily macros. Alcohol is seven calories per gram. The amount of alcohol in each beverage is going to differ based on its alcoholic content. Because of that, you have to be able to get an idea of what the alcoholic content or the proofage of the beverage is. So for liquor, it's going to change, but you can normally bet that a, I think it is a one and a quarter ounce pour of 80 proof liquor is about 120, 125 calories. So what we have to do is we take that calorie content, right? So we're less worried about the alcohol content, more worried about the calorie content. We're going to divide that by either four to subtract it from carbs or nine to subtract it from fats or a mixture of the two and subtract it from both. So for alcohol, distilled liquors, that's normally how that's going to go. For beers, it's a little bit different because a lot of them will also have carbohydrate content. If you like cider stuff, then they have a very high carbohydrate content on top of the alcohol content. So what you're going to want to do, same thing, total calories, take the carb calories out, right? Put those to the carbs because those are carbs. And then take the rest out, divide by four or divide by nine. And now we can account for those calories throughout the rest of our diet. So most importantly, guys, again, be safe. Um, even if you're not drinking, remember a lot of people out there are drinking. They are going to be on the roads. Uh, it's not going to be the safest environment out this evening. So make sure that you are doing all the correct preparations to make sure that you are as safe as possible, that you are paying attention and you are aware of what's going to be going on out in the world tonight. So guys, that is all that I have for today. I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow. Have a safe Thanksgiving tomorrow. And guys, don't just take care of your bodies, but also take care of your minds, okay? All right, we'll talk to you soon.